Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. DJI introduces a smart remote controller with built-in display. UFI unveils Swarm Light Shown Drone at CES in Las Vegas. And Indominus Parachute meets new safety standards. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world. With more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country, I'm Skylar Vanell. DJI introduced a new remote controller for its drones at CES. The smart controller features an ultra-bright display screen and controls optimized for DJI drones. It uses a 5.5-inch screen built into the controller. The smart controller allows pilots to quickly get their drones in the air without the need to connect to a mobile device. It can be paired with DJI's newest drones, including Mavic 2 Zoom and Mavic 2 Pro, which uses DJI's OcuSync 2.0 video transmission system which displays vivid images in full HD resolution. It has a customizable Android dashboard that supports DJI Go 4, DJI Pilot, and other third-party apps such as editing programs. The new smart controller is now available for purchase for the retail price of $649. Combination packages of the smart controller with the Mavic 2 Pro and Mavic 2 Zoom will be available. In the next Drone Minute, we'll take a look at stories making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. Flights departing from London Heathrow's airport were held up for about an hour last week. This comes after police claim to have seen another drone near the area. The first drone sightings were reported around 5 p.m. About an hour later, the airport confirmed on Twitter that flights were operating as scheduled. Professional drone developer GDU has launched its new multi-purpose industrial drone at CES called the GDU Saga. The company claims the aircraft can carry a load up to 2.2 pounds and includes an HD 4K camera. The open platform empowers businesses to customize their own designs, software, payload, and computing of the open platform for a truly unique and exclusive experience. DJI has welcomed the UK's Department for Transport's new regulatory measures announced on January 7th. The amendments to the air navigation orders strike a sensible balance between protecting critical infrastructure, such as airports, and allowing British businesses and the public to enjoy the benefits of drone technology. DJI said they are pleased to see that the new rectangular restriction zones around airport runway approach paths that address the risk at airports in a way similar to the latest versions of DJI's geofencing technology. State Farm has reportedly been granted the first national waiver to any company in the U.S. by the FAA. The national waiver allows State Farm to conduct drone operations over people and flights beyond the pilot's visual line of sight through November of 2020. Previous waivers that were granted to State Farm were limited to a short time frame and to specific geographic areas impacted by hurricanes. Well, that wraps up your Drone Minute. UV5 has unveiled its IFO Swarm Light Show drone at this year's CES. After reviewing the existing Light Show, Swarm drones currently available. The company decided to build the drone from the ground up to be the longest flying and most efficient in its class. According to the company's news release, it is the first of its kind available to the general public as a service and boasts several innovative features that will bring the beauty of drone light shows to people around the world. UFI and drone racing organization DR1 Racing have teamed up to form a new racing class. Be on the lookout for it in this upcoming 2019 and 2020 seasons of DR1's DHL Champions Series. The past season saw the introduction of the Pro Class with teams racing giant-sized drones, some four times bigger than the conventional mini-quads. 
The new partnership will extend DR1's Pro Class with a new U-Series that will exclusively feature Uvify's Draco 4x4 racing drones. The U-Series will race alongside the DHL Champion Series over the next two seasons with each team flying dedicated giant Draco 4x4 racing drones. The new partnership is in addition to last season's partnership where Uvify sponsored a team in the 2018 season. A Dimness Nexus parachute system for the DJI Inspire 2 drone has been validated as compliant with the new international standards for drone parachutes. This comes after a strenuous testing procedure at the New York UAS test site managed by New Air. The FAA prohibits most drone operations directly over people as a safety precaution. Professional drone operators can apply for a waiver from that restriction if they can demonstrate they have a strong safety mitigation in place. The system is intended to be the core of a parachute-based safety mitigation plan for a waiver and can also help provide one path forward for advanced operations as the FAA looks into how to allow routine flights directly over people. Nexus is a ballistic parachute launcher that is triggered automatically if the drone suddenly tilts or falls. It deploys the parachute within 30 milliseconds at 90 miles an hour. Through a tube that rapidly inflates to keep the parachute lines away from the drone's body and propellers. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly and in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. If you're watching us on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe and do check us out on social media. For real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime, go to aero-news.net. And for more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org, we will see you next week.